Blessed be the name of the Lord. We give God thanks for what He's doing every day. Good to see you. We bless God for another audition, another edition of um, His presence where we come and um, talk about God, about what God is doing in our life. Today we, today um, we want to bring um, the word of God in perspective, and uh, we want to break down a few things as the Lord leads. Um, the Lord put in my spirit to talk about the power of assignment, the power of assignment, the power of assignment. The assignment itself, it is what is the most important here. There is power and there is assignment. The power of assignment. So, there is power that lead assignment, that govern assignment. Assignment is a mandate. Assignment is a mandate, is a, is, is, is a mission God has commissioned you, given to you, in order to fulfill in a certain period or certain time. The mandate that God has given to you to go, to do something, or to plan something, or to fulfill something, which um, consists with a lot of things in it. Is some assignment is is it is is just to go to deliver people. Some assignment is 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 there to go to make people receive Christ. Some assignment is 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 to take the territory or to take a city. Some assignment God can send you to go to just deliver a message. It's also assignment. Now, the assignment that I'm talking about here is 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 broad. But remember, it's more about the assignment that God gave to us as an individual. In the Bible, we have so many verses and we have so many references of people that God has given an assignment. So I want to talk to someone who's watching me today that you have an assignment. Now, every one of us was born with an assignment. But I'll surprise you to tell you that assignment is not only given by God. Even Satan give assignment. So we have people who have been given an assignment to kill people. People who have been given an assignment to kidnap people. People who have been given an assignment to destroy other people's life. People who have been given an assignment to destabilize countries and to destabilize economy, to destabilize life and to destabilize every other things, even church. So the assignment, it is that which is important. Now, if I want to even make you feel that uh, 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 the way I feel it, if I want to make you even see that in the way that I see it, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to bring you in a book, in, in, in a book of Genesis and you will understand that the old things here we're talking about here that is bigger and greater in this world, even in this universe, is just a sign. Because God said to a man, after creating a man, he said, I put you in the garden to do what? You see? He said to dress it. He gave a man what? Assignment. You understand? Without an assignment, we wouldn't be here on earth. Everybody on earth here is on assignment. So assignment is so powerful that if we don't understand that alone, then you are going to be distracted. You are going to be wandering on earth, thinking like uh, people are stealing from you or people are taking your blessing, or people criticizing people, spending your time and doing unnecessary things. When you see people do unnecessary things, it just simply means they are out of their assignment and they don't know their assignment. But people who know their assignment, they do it better. Even witches, they do their assignment properly. All right? So it is very important you understand your assignment. Your assignment. Very important. Very, very important. 
It is your assignment that define who you are. It is your assignment that define who you are. What is it that God assigned you to do? You understand? So what God sends you to do on earth will determine where you are going and what you become through the assignment. The reason why many people they fail is because they leave the assignment, they want to do other people's assignment. Or they want to copy what other people are doing. You cannot be sent to preach the gospel and before you know it, you leave preaching the gospel, you want to become a politician. It's a different thing altogether. That is not the assignment God has sent you. The assignment God has given to you is different. Even if it's Satan is the one give to you, you need to stay in your assignment. It is important that many people don't understand that. There is power beyond every assignment. And there is an anointing beyond every assignment. Every assignment is is, 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 is laid or is, is, is supported but by, by, by a special anointing. That is why someone who has an assignment, whether by witch or by God, cannot die until that assignment is fulfilled. When someone is been assigned by the Spirit, that assignment will come to pass. Because there is forces that works behind you, that works, that works ahead of you to support you until that assignment comes to pass. Let us read the book of uh, Jonah 1. Just give story and then we, we move forward. Jonah chapter 1, mm-hmm. verse 1. Mm-hmm. Now the word of Jehovah came unto Jonah the son of Af. Mm-hmm. Amitai, mm-hmm. saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, mm-hmm. that great city, mm-hmm. and cry against it, mm-hmm. for their wickedness is come up before me. Mm-hmm. But Jonah rose up to flee and to Tarshish. Now, this is, uh, this is what you need to understand there. The word of the Lord came unto Jonah. Mm-hmm. The word of the Lord came unto Jonah. He said, God assigned him mm-hmm. to go into a specific location, mm. into a country, mm. into a place mm. in which he is going to show his glory through Jonah mm. to, that, to those people and people who know Jonah because God is the one who sends you. If God sends you, he sends you so that people will know that is God through you. So Jonah was going to become a proper Jonah because it was going to be the, the power of God was going to be revealed through him. You see, your assignment brings your true identity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Wow. Your assignment brings your true identity. Accepting your identity, uh, accepting your assi- uh, assignment is to enter into tr- your true identity. Wow. Wow. So Jonah refused to go to the place of his assignment. He refused to go in the, in the place of what? Assignment. Now, the Bible says at the moment he refused to go to the place of his assignment, the Bible says he did what? He flee. He flee. Any moment you refuse to go to a place of your assignment, it means you are fleeing, you are running away. There are some of the people that you see in our surrounding, they are actually thieves. They are actually uh, 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 very dangerous. You see, they are not supposed to be around us. Why? Because they are running away from their assignment and they are fleeing. They are coming to, to you. So when they come to you, they are actually going to cause havoc and problem around you. So, Papa, mm-hmm. anyone who runs away from his assignment mm-hmm. becomes a type of or dangerous to the people who he is close to. Automatically, it become a danger for you. Automatically, become an hazard for you. Because anyone who is fleeing his assignment, when it comes to you, is going to bring the wrath of God towards you. 
Because when God is angry for him, yeah. he will be angry for those who accommodate him. Mm. So Jonah flee his assignment. Now you will notice one thing. When you flee from your assignment, you are no longer that which God was seeing you. Okay. You carry another image. Mm. Image of a coward. Mm -hmm. So it is important to understand that. Yes, Anyone who flee from his assignment, he loses confidence. Mm -hmm. Because the boldness and the courage he has, he do not have it anymore. He leaves the place of his confidence. Mm -hmm. He becomes a, 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 a fearful person. A coward, yeah. a person of non identity. He does not know where he's going, he does not know what is happening. Out of your assignment, it's out of God's presence, and that leads you to death. So, the Bible says, Jonah flee, but he flee away. He flee away. Read it, the Bible, read it. He flee away. From Jonah chapter 1 verse 3. Mm -hmm. But Jonah rose up to flee mm -hmm. and to Tarshish mm -hmm. from the presence of Jehovah. From the presence of Jehovah. This is what I just said. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. When you flee from assignment, you flee from the presence of God. You coming, leaving the place of your assignment is automatically a separation between you and God. Until you come back to your assignment, then God is there. Because when you detach from your assignment, God does not detach. It is you that flee. When you flee, you leave God where you left him. Until you return, you find God there. It's like an umbrella. If you put an umbrella like this, it, you have to stay under the umbrella. If you put your head like this, there is no cover. Until you bring it back on the right point. So Jonah flee. And when Jonah flee, he went to enter into the ship. And you, you, you hear very well, the Bible says that this ship was going to Tashish. They had their own destination, yes, yes, yes. where they were going. Yeah. But God sent Jonah to Nineveh. But Jonah was running to Tashish. There are two names there, Tashish and Nineveh. Which church are you under? Is it the name where you are? Is it the name of the church that God has placed your assignment. Wow. Many people, they run from this church to this church, uh -huh. not knowing that your church is Nini, it's not Tashish. Sometimes we intend to leave so soon without God allow you to go. There are times that God has to allow you to leave a place to go to another place. If that place is not yet arrived, it means you are running. So what are you running? What are you running away from? Many people, they run away from their blessings and chasing other people are blessings. While they leave their own blessing, the other side. Many people, they leave their own comfort zone, they leave their own marriages, but yet they want to run into your house to bring a havoc and bring a problem. That is why you don't just embrace someone because he's looking good or because he has money. What, um, what, what makes these people to get Jonah is because he paid money to enter the ship. As a man of God, you need to understand not every son that comes to you. You don't just get them because they bring you money. They say, Papa, Papa. It's not about that. No. Some of the seed they bring to you is actually they are bringing more problem to your ministry. They are bringing more problem, more havoc. The church was stable up until they come with their seed. Your church becomes financial break. Wow. That's 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 <laughs> they are leaving Ninif to come to Tashish. Mm. By which command? Be very careful on the people we are receiving. Mm. Wow. Thank you. Some of the people we are receiving, they are actually running, they are looking for a place to run mm. and to hide. But the person they are running, uh, they are running, they are, they are running from. Mm. You cannot stand him, they are running from God. 
No man of God will be able to stand when God is hunting someone. When God is hunting yes. the person that he has sent, he has assigned, he does not care whoever keep him. Whoever keep him is going to deal with God. Wow. So the Bible said, Jonah entered into the ship. When he entered to the ship, these people, because of money, they accommodated him. <laughs> because of money, they accommodated him. Because he can sing like an angel, they accommodated him. Because he's very good in administration, they accommodated him. Because in the ark represents the church. Because in the ark, there's a captain. And the captain represents the man of God who is leading that ship. He's the man in command. They accommodated Jonah. Because Jonah, for them in that time, it was important because he brought something. What is it that people are bringing that you're accommodating them? Before you accommodate someone, you need to ask him, what is your assignment? When they accommodated Jonah, they did not ask him his assignment. They did not ask him why he's there. Not everybody you see are going where you are going. You see, the problem with us as a church, we want to pick every fork. We want to pick every fox. Everyone is not going where you are going. Anyone who is not going where you are going is a problematic. Those are the people who make, a, who make noise on the buses. Why? Because they want to get on their bus stop. So they are going to do whatever they want to do to make sure that the driver lead them where they want to go. And any moment they are stopping on the road, they are delaying you. Any moment they are stopping on the road, they are delaying you. Because then they arrive where they are supposed to arrive, while you are still going. So it is important to carry in your ship the people who are going where you are going. Jonah enter in the ship. But the problem is this. The Jonah had an assignment that he was running away from it. Now, the assignment of God is spiritual. Okay? Yes. You cannot see it. It's a mandate. You cannot see it. It's a responsibility. You cannot touch it. But it's within you that God has given you. God does not give you an assignment because you ask him for it. No, because he's found you capable to do it. Wow. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, Papa. Mm. What is it that is in the assignment? Because uh, Jonah was given assignment by God mm -hmm. and he ran away mm -hmm. from the assignment. Mm -hmm. What was he afraid of from the assignment? Mm -hmm. was, was he afraid of something? Mm -hmm. Or I, I, I just want to... to, to right, remember. I think I pick it there. Yeah. Number one thing, like I said here, I said the assignment of God is a responsibility. Mm -hmm. Now remember, when God gives you assignment, it is something that is not small. Okay? When God gives you assignment, remember I said here, God gives you assignment because He trusts you. Yeah. Okay? So that which God gives to you it will, it is, 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 um, is something that has to do with what He believes is supposed to happen or to take place. Okay. Now, there are some there are some uh, advantage and disadvantage in that assignment. Oh. There are some risk oh. in that assignment. Okay. There are some uh, 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 attack may come in that assignment. Mm. That assignment, it will look scary mm. to, where, to where you are bringing it or to the people you are going to do it. Oh. Why? God will not give you a little things. No, God does not deal with the little things. Anything that is little, a man can do it. But anything that is heavy, God will use a man to do it. It means God, he will use what is heavy to put it on you and give you the mandate to be able to go to fulfill it. So the assignment of God is something that is so big in the sense that God should come and do it alone. But because God does not have access on earth, he will use you. 
This one I'm going to talk hey. on the other topic we are coming. All right. Man God, yeah. man God. There's a topic is coming. Watch me. This, watch me. There's a topic is coming. It's called man God. Watch this video. Man God is coming. That topic, man God. You need to find and discover why we are talking about man God. So is it man a God? Is it God? Is it a man created God? Oh, is it a man in charge of everything that makes him man God? Watch this video is coming. So what I was saying here is that the assignment of God, it is actually it's supposed to be done by himself. But because he's God, he's going to make you capable enough to go to fulfill that assignment. And that assignment it will sound scary because of the ingredients and the thing that is in it. Because of the, the, the package of the assignment, mm. it will look scary. You, you begin to think about your life, mm -hmm. think about you'll be die, you, you, you might die, mm. think about people who criticize you, mm. think about you might be arrested, mm. think about all that, the danger sure. in it. Yes. That is what, you, that's what that, those are the things that makes people run from it. Because here God was talking to Jonah to go to Nineveh. Yet in Nineveh there was a king. So, for you to go to tell the, the, the whole Nineveh, repent, that God is not angry, is not happy with you. The wrath of God is coming. You are automatically talking not only to the citizen, even the king himself. He will kill you. That is why even today, that is why even today, because of the fear that is in certain places, even governmental, some men of God, they can't talk. You see? They can't talk because they are scared of their life. Mm -hmm. You see, they say, if I say this, they are going to kill me. They are going to arrest me. Yeah. They are going to do this. So, that is the danger of assignment. Assignment is not a small thing. Papa, you, you brought up something that is very powerful. It just blew my mind. Mm. Um, I remember some time ago, you were teaching me about, uh, about assignment again. I remember some time ago. Mm. So, this is my question. So before we choose someone that we want to lead us, we need to understand his assignment. Because, for example, if a nation cries for a liberator, mm -hmm. then they call for Moses. Mm -hmm. His assignment was to take them mm -hmm. to the promised land, mm -hmm. which was Canaan. Mm -hmm. So if South Africa cries for a leader or a liberator mm -hmm. to come and they cry for Moses, the only journey that Moses knows mm -hmm. is to go to Canaan. Mm -hmm. So we will find South Africans going to Canaan, mm -hmm. not to the place where they are supposed to go, because they are taking someone whose assignment is different mm -hmm. from the uh, from, from, from the from the class they are making before the Lord. That is exactly what I'm saying. You need to understand the assignment <laughs> first. If you <laughs> don't understand the assignment, then you end up do the wrong thing. You end up enter into the shoe that does not fit your legs. Mm -hmm. So that's a very very important thing to understand. There now, John now. When he failed to understand his, his, his assignment, become a slave. When you fail to come to you to come to realize and to understand your assignment, you become a slave. You will become useless. Jonah was hidden in the ship. Now when these people they see that trouble came into their church, they feel like now this is, 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 is not what we expected. God anger arise. When God anger arise, he shook everything that was there. He shook everything that was there. Now they now begin to lose everything that they had into their sheep. They think that they have stole. They think that they have saved for long. The thing that took them time to build, they lose it in one second, in one day, in one minute, because of what? Jonah. So uh, that brings me to another question. Mm -hmm. So which means when you begin to incur losses mm -hmm. in our lives, mm -hmm. it says that I've run away from my assignment mm -hmm. or I'm, I'm, I have someone close to me who has run away from me. That, is, way is, that is exact. When you begin to incur losses, when you begin to see yourself decreases, you begin to see yourself having problems. Is either you welcome someone who is running away from his assignment, mm -hmm. or you automatically yourself you are into a wrong assignment, <laughs> or you are in the wrong places of your assignment. Right. Right. 
or you refuse to accept your assignment. Mm. Yeah. That is it. That's now, powerful. you can become a danger in the midst of the innocent people. Mm. So you can see, these people, they have their own assignment. Mm. But now, because they mix the assignment with someone who was not going into their destination, that person become a liability. It become a danger for them. So they have to look for solution. So as they were looking for solution, that's when now Jonah came to tell them that I am the servant of the Most High God. That's exactly what I was saying in the beginning. You need to ask people all the time when they are coming to you, where are you from and where are you going? You don't bring people too close to you without knowing where they are coming from and where they are going. Mm. Just uh, as you are there, my father, um, this is a, a very powerful teaching, mm. very profound teaching. Mm. I believe uh, those who are watching on our, on our TV station, they are getting blessed and uh, there might be somebody that is trying to ask a question. Now, um, mm. you're talking about assignment and you spoke about power. Mm. Now, there's something that I want to understand and somebody who's watching and my brothers there, they would want to understand. When you talk about assignment, we say there's also a process mm. within the assignment mm. because I believe assignment is reviewed, mm. but the process is not reviewed. Mm. So when you have an assignment, during you fulfilling the assignment, a lot of people, they run away mm. from the assignment mm. because through the, the assignment, there's a process mm. within the assignment. Mm. So meaning God does not review to us the process, mm. but he reviews to us the assignment. Mm. So most of people, they, they have the assignment to say, okay, God has given me this assignment. Mm. God revealed this assignment to me. Mm. I'm supposed to do this. Mm. But the process that which you're supposed to go through, mm -hmm. the, 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 it's, mm. it's not reviewed. Mm -hmm. So we find that a lot of people, they do not fulfill the assignment mm. because they, 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 they run away from the process. A lot of people, like they want to fulfill the assignment, but they do not want to go through the process. The process. So I want you to just... Um, dig deeper on that one, my father, because the bigger I believe, the bigger the assignment, the, there's also a difference between the process that somebody goes through. Like mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 7, it says that, but to each one of us grace has been given. Mm -hmm. Meaning that I believe to each one of us as we carry the assignment, with the assignment that we have, there's grace that God has given to each one of us to fulfill that assignment. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. You have spoken a lot of things there. Um, I just want to make clarification on what you say there on the assignment. When God gives someone an assignment, uh, just exactly like uh, uh, my son here was saying here, God cannot give you an assignment and hide the process for you. No. That's exactly, that's, that's even the reason why people get afraid. Because assignment is actually... Um, the assignment is actually what you are going to do. The process is what you are going to go through before you fulfill the assignment. Now, the assignment of Moses is to take the children to, to go to tell Pharaoh to liberate the people, to bring them to the destination, okay? But the process of what is going to happen, Moses and God talked about it already. Yeah, and it makes Moses afraid more. Yes. Okay? Yes. It makes Moses afraid more. But God assured him that I will be with you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now, when you see someone is running away from the process, it's just like I said earlier on, he's coward. Okay? <laughs> there, 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 are, there are some people, they want a shortcut. Yes. They do not want to go through a long process. That's why... They, they run away. And some people, they have, conf they have no confidence in God. That's why they will uh, afraid to, to be afraid to go to deliver a message to the king, to the president, to the minister, to the general of the army, because they're afraid. Okay? So, uh, God will not hide a process for you. Though there are few experiences you might find along the way, which are the things that you have never had on, God, on the conversation with God. In fact, that is hidden to you, but not to God. Yes. Now, it is difficult for you to begin to make to, to run away from it because you are not going to see it until you find yourself in the process. Yes. So what I'm trying to say here is that 
the assignment on what on on, on uh, what you are saying here the assignment of god when it's revealed to you god tells you it's like he said to, to Noah, i say i'm sending you to nineveh yes. the process is you to go in nineveh yes. and begin to talk talking is a process talking and meeting the, the, the authorities and all that, that is the process. So he showed him already the danger. And that's the way now he was afraid. Okay? Now, we as, uh, we as, as, as children of God, when we receive an assignment from God, God give us the assurance that I will be with you. I'll go with you. And uh, I will defend you. And I will sustain you. When you like, I will be there for you. So you cannot... If you believe in God, when God talks to you, your assignment will be fulfilled. Regardless of what you might go through, it will be fulfilled because you know that God is with me. You understand? Now, people, like I said, people who run away from their assignment, you need to understand that some people, they run away from their assignment because they see the danger of the assignment. You say, no, 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 I don't want to to go with it. No, 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 I I don't want to go through this process. But... Hear me careful. Anyone who totally ran away from the assignment of God, he was not qualified for that assignment. There is no one that God sends you and God gives you an assignment and you don't fulfill it. That assignment, like I said in the beginning, it will be fulfilled. One way to another it will be fulfilled. If you see someone does not fulfill his assignment, it means he's in the wrong assignment. It's not their assignment. If you are in your assignment, you must fulfill the assignment in one way to another. Okay. God is going to make sure that that assignment comes because God cannot give an assignment to you. If God gives an assignment, it means that God sees you capable of doing it. It is your human uh, 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 body and your, 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 your emotion and everything that will make you feel scared. But yet, God will make that assignment to come to pass. As the case of Jonah, he ran away from the assignment of God. What, what happened? Then they throw him on the, the water. They throw him in the water. After they throw him in the water, for him he was believing that if they throw him in the water, he will swim to go to another side. But not knowing that as they were throwing him in the water, God was even actually preparing him to lock him down. So in that way now, I'm gonna. In that way now, I'm trying to break like a break a, a, a bracket for people who are afraid of lockdown. Lockdown is not a punishment. No, lockdown is not a punishment. Like a lot of people now today, they are, they are hearing lockdown everywhere. Lockdown in America, lockdown in Italy, in France, lockdown in Zimbabwe, lockdown in South Africa, lockdown in the UK. Lockdown is not a punishment from God. We need that from anybody. Lockdown is actually a time of reflection. A moment that God puts someone into a place where he can understand the details of his assignment properly. God will allow you to be locked down, not locked up, to be locked down. Because if you lock down, you'll be able to see certain things because your assignment is not in heaven, it's down, it's on earth. Your assignment is on earth. So if your assignment is on earth, God has to lock you down so that your eyes will begin to see what is actually going, uh, uh, is going up down there. There are certain details we miss when we are into our freedom. When Jonah was in his freedom, he was missing a lot of details. He never pay, uh, pay attention that he is entering in the ship. The ship is working in water. He never pay attention that the ship was on water. He never, he never knew that the, 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 the maker of sea is God. He never realized that even the ship it was made by man. But for he to start and go to destination, God is in charge. He never pay attention of, of, of all these details. You see, he was just running. You see, sometimes when we are in our freedom, we don't pay attention in so many details. We pay details when we are now into isolation. Into isolation. Into a place that you are, you, you are confined. When you are confined, 
to a certain place, then your mind also is going to operate according to the parameters in, in which you, you, you find yourself. But when we are free, your mind is all over the, the, the earth. As you can see, wider the earth is, you are going to accumulate unnecessary thinking and you are not going to be doing your assignment. Why? Because you are now distracted with a lot of things. But when you are confined, your mind will know every four corners of where you are. Your mind will see certain things is there. That's why it is important for someone to be in lockdown. If it was not, if Lazarus, you see, he was not uh, 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 under a lockdown, he would have not appreciated the cramps that was coming from the rich man table. <laughs> on the rich man table, the Bible said that the cramps was coming down. The dogs, they were also after those cramps, but he was able to notice every single cramps. Because it was down. Because it was down. <laughs> Sometimes when we are up, we don't see the reality of down. But when you are down, that is when you are going to really know your assignment. Why? You. Your assignment is on earth. That's why the Bible says God resists to the pride, the pride. Yes. And he favored the humble, the down, the down. You have to be down for you to understand. Lockdown is not the punishment. It is a moment of isolation where God make you to realize where you are, where you are going, what you have not done yet and what you should be able to do. Jonah has to be locked down. The fish did not have the power to kill Jonah in one condition. This is another message I'm trying to, I'm trying to break down here. I'm trying to mess up with your mind. I'm trying to mess up your mind. Right. You know, when you have your assignment, when you have an assignment, when the assignment of God is, is in you, you can't die. When you got the assignment, you can't die. Like I said to you, there's a power. The power of an, an assignment. There's an anointing that will protect your assignment. Okay. When they want to touch you, they are, that anointing will protect you because they are, the assignment must be fulfilled. So the fish could not swallow Jonah. You know why? You know why the, the fish could not swallow Jonah? <laughs> okay. Now, See this one. God speak to Jonah. God speak what? To Jonah. And send Jonah to his assignment. And Jonah listened to God. But he refused. He was running away. Running away where? To Tashish. Yes. From the presence of God. From the presence of God. Now, the Bible said to me in the book of Genesis, it said, when God created the universe, the first day, God created the day and the night. Hmm? Yes, yes, yes. The second day, God created the heaven. The earth was created on the third day. Are you with me? Yes. The earth was created what? <laughs> so we deal in this life. We deal. We, we, we always deal with. We always deal with number three. And I'm breaking it down now. <clears throat> now, the earth was created on the third day. On that, under as you are going there, they will tell you after God created the heaven and then He created the earth, and after God created the earth, then He took. The water that was remaining on the, on, on, the, on the ground, all those water, and they make what? The sea. We have how many planets? Three planets. Planet heaven, planet earth, and planet sea. So planet heaven, planet earth, and planet sea. Planet heaven, and earth, and sea. And all planets is controlled by God. There's no way that you can run away from God. So God make earth for men and sea for fish. But God knew already in advance that one day, because remember, Jonah is the image of Jesus Christ. Yes. He has to die three days and rose again. Yes. So God knew it about already. And because God knew it already, 
God has already said that Jesus will not die on the cross and remain into the grave. He, the grave must what? Vomit him. So God has already given an assignment unto earth before even the creation that the body of Jesus should not stay three days here. He must be vomited. So there was also an assignment to fish from the beginning that the body of Jonah should not stay three days. <laughs> must be vomited. Now, can I show you that? Can I show you that uh, that it was given there? Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven. How can the earth arrest its creator? The earth could not arrest the creator because Jesus was the creator. Everything was what made by him. So the earth could not swallow him and keep him in prison. Why? Because the earth were created on the third day. The earth was created on the third day. Because the earth was created on the third day, he cannot stay there over three days. <laughs> First day, there was light. Second day, there was heaven. And third day, there was earth. He cannot stay there under for, for three days. I'm still not finishing up. I'm, I'm coming. Now, look at that. Yes, yes, yes. They gave him the power. He will say, you see, he was everything was created by him and him alone. Yes, yes. And by so doing, the earth could not hold him three days on, on the ground. Why? Because he was created on, on the third day. On the fourth day, man was given the dominion to rule. And the Bible reads, mm -hmm. it says, and so God created man in his own So image. God created man in his own image? In the image of God created him. And the image of God created him? Male and female. Male created, and female. Created he then. Yes. Then 28. 28. And God blessed them. And God blessed them. Now see. God did what? Blessed them. So where is the blessing of God started? And God said unto them. God said unto them. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Multiply. Multiply. Replenish the earth. Replenish the earth. This is about the earth. God is giving them the power over the, the earth. Mm -hmm. Then. Subdue it. Subdue it. Then. And have dominion over the fish of the sea. After finishing talk about the earth, yes. it's not talking about the, the sea. Yes. But the first thing God has given to a man mm. over the sea, mm. over the fish, ever dominion what? Have dominion over the fish. He did not he say the sea. He did not even start by have dominion over the sea and the fish. He said have dominion over the fish. Huh? So, Jonah already did not, uh, 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 the fish did not have the power to hold Jonah already from the beginning because he was already predict that he will be in the fish of the belly. And the belly could not swallow, swallow him and finish him. He could only swallow him because he was mandated by God to put him into isolation, into lockdown. A lockdown is going to kill you. It's a moment of isolation for you to meet God. Mm. So Jonah was only swallowed by the, uh, 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 by the fish, mm. by God's command. Mm. But yet Jonah had the authority to dominate the fish. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, and you see, you see that Jonah, uh, you, you, you see what's happened there. So three days Jonah was in the belly of what? The fish. When you understand, when you come to realization in your mind, you come to understand the power of your assignment, you gain back your confidence. You gain back your authority. Mm -hmm. So, Baba, no one does prematurely as long as you are in your assignment. Mm -hmm. No one dies prematurely. No, you cannot die prematurely if you have an assignment. In fact, I repeat, if you have an assignment, you can't die <laughs> until assignment is fulfilled. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, um, if you are given an assignment by God, mm -hmm. you cannot die prematurely. Yes. Because it's an assignment mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. What about uh, from the other side mm -hmm. of the devil? Mm -hmm. When the devil gives somebody an assignment to do something, mm -hmm. is it the same um, comparing to the assignment of God? Is it the same? Do they die prematurely or... Um, they will be just protected 
as well. No, there is a difference there because the assignment of therefore, when therefore sends you assignment, is to distract you, is to destroy you, is to kill you. Now, if, for example, not to kill only you, but if he sends you a gift, his people, his assignment, his assi the assignment must be fulfilled according to his command. Okay? But mistakenly, they come to attack you, a child of God. The assignment was to come to kill you, you to kill you. But you have an assignment as well in your life. His assignment was to come and kill you. You will not die because you got an assignment in you which you're supposed to fulfill. Before the time, you will not die. Now, by any, by, by, by any mistake, you send the fire on him. Now, he will die. Why? Because the assignment of God is the only thing that will stand, that is internal, right. that is 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 a, is a, is a unkillable. Yeah, Only the assignment of God, yeah. but of devil can stop. That is why I say the world was created by assignment, mm -hmm. and devil also have assignment. Yes. Unless the assignment of Jesus is internal, mm -hmm. but the assignment of devil is going to end after devil does what he does. It's going to be arrested. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was saying that even devil also has assignment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is it. That's why you see that uh, you see uh, which is a wizard. They are sent to kill us. Yes. They are sent to do us harm. Yes. They are sent to do us this. But end of the day, the Bible says many are the afflictions, but the Lord deliver them to all. Yes. The Bible said they will make war against you, but they shall not come to pass. You see, they it's a, it's a, it's a thousand on, uh, uh, on, 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 my, on my side, uh, 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 ten thousand on, 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 on my right side. They will what? They, they, they say they, they say they, they, they will not come near you. Yes. You see, no matter what they do, nothing is going to happen. You understand? Why? Because they prove the assignment of God will not die until it's fulfilled. Regardless of where you are. That's why you see Jonah now in there. When he was in the fish, he was supposed to die, but he did not die. But you know what Jonah did? When Jonah realized his assignment, this is what I preached last time. When Jonah realized his assignment, Yes. What he did now, he used his, his, his location as an altar. He used the belly of the fish as an altar to alter a prayer to God. Uh, yes, okay. He used the belly of a fish as an altar mm. to alter a prayer. Bring your offering and your prayer to the altar, and your, your, your prayer will go to God. That's what Jonah did. The Bible said, Jonah pray in the belly of the fish. That's what the Bible said. He said, Jonah pray in the belly of the fish. In other words, he makes the belly of the fish an altar. So every situation you find yourself, when you, re, you, 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 you realize that you are into assignment, whenever you realize, straight away, you can use that place as an altar to reconcile with God. The first key mm. to realization that you've missed the assignment, mm -hmm. for somebody that is watching to mm -hmm. say, I've missed my assignment, mm -hmm. how can I come to realization, mm -hmm. to realize my assignment, mm -hmm. is prayer. No. Mm. The first thing, yes. you will realize it. How can you pray and you realize it? No. God will lock you down yes. or put you in a place of isolation mm -hmm. or the place of uncomfortability. Yes. Put you in the place where you feel like where I am, I'm not supposed to be here. If I'm here, then it must be, it's because something went wrong. Yes. Then your mind and everything will begin to come together. Then you begin to realize that I'm here by uh, 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 because of what I've done. I'm here because of this. And now you are going to come in a realization. Then after you come to realization, then use that particular spot as a point of contact to reconcile with your God. You understand to reconcile with your God the same thing that you were talking about here if you read your Bible in the book of uh, uh, Daniel you will find that because of the assignment because of the assignment Shadrach Meshach Abednego when they were thrown into the uh, uh, the, 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 the final fire they did not die what protected them it was the assignment what protected them it was the assignment because once the assignment is on you, even if they throw you on fire, your flesh cannot bend because the assignment is an anointing that protects your environment. It is the assignment that it was in Daniel that shut up the mount of the lion. The assignment. The power of assignment. They can appear to you like they shoot you. You will not die. 
because of the assignment. Assignment is deeper. When the assignment is on you, you will not die just like that. It was impossible for John the Baptist to die before announcing the coming of Jesus. Yes. When the assignment of John Baptist finished, he was dying like a garbage. He dead like a garbage because the assignment was completed. That's why when Elijah saw the assignment finished, he cried to God. He said, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of death. Elijah cried, he was a friend of death. God said, no, 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 no. Now that your assignment is complete, I must take you quickly. Because if I don't take you, Jezebel will kill you. When the assignment is complete, you, you, can, you can die like a garbage. That's why you see Paul say, dead is gain for me. If I die today, I fulfill my assignment. I fulfill my cause. That's why Paul said, dead now is gain. I know that I can die. It's gain because I fulfill my assignment. Without an assignment, you won't die. You won't die. Tabitha was, Tabitha dead. But what woke him up, brought him back, is an assignment. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Assignment. So, my advice to any one of you who is watching me, is stay in your assignment. Stay in your assignment. Don't move from your assignment. It is your assignment that you buy that big house you expected. It is your assignment that is going to make you to meet the king, the queens, and everything. It is your assignment that you bring angels from different places to come to you. It's an assignment that is going to locate you and connect you with everybody. Your assignment. Very important and very, very powerful. Assignment, don't die. Assignment, don't die. When you got an assignment from God, you will not die until that assignment is fulfilled. For Jesus to die, he fulfilled the assignment. That's why he said, he said, it is finished. A moment he said it is finished, the Bible said, he rendered his spirit and is dead. If the assignment is not finished, you are not dying. Even if they arrest you, God will send the angel like he sent the angel to deliver Peter. Assignment will not stop. So it is important we understand. So value assignment and be very proud because God has known and God has called you. Because if God called you, your assignment is internal. Until it's fulfilled, you will not depart from this earth. You will fulfill that assignment. But if it's not, if it's not, if it's fulfilled, then goodbye. Your time to go uh, home is here. You see, but for certain and his agent, for the people of this world, they have the assignment to be with people, to destroy people, to destabilize people, and all that. Separate yourself from such people who have an assignment to destroy only, but not to build. Someone who is coming and talking uh, only destruction. Someone is coming, is coming only to go to uh, his assignment, is fighting. How can you connect yourself with someone who has an assignment to be fighting men of God? Yeah. How can you have an assignment for such things like that? Huh? How can you be having a connection <laughs> and to surrender yourself to someone who has an assignment to be fighting men of God, to be fighting president, to be fighting government, to be fighting everybody? Eh? You cannot do that. You can't. Connect yourself with someone who understands his assignment. And that is that what is important for you. So I'm so excited. I think we exhausted a lot of things today because of time. Uh, we might end there. I don't know if you've got a small few questions before we uh, run that there. Yes, thank you so much, Ted. Um, this, this topic is really deep. It is just brought a lot of things in my mind. Okay. So which means your health is there in your assignment. Mm -hmm. Your supplies are there in your assignment. Mm -hmm. When Jesus was sending his disciples, he said, do not take bags with you. Mm -hmm. So which means food, your food is there in your assignment. Mm -hmm. it, your accommodation is in your assignment. Mm -hmm. when, they, when they do not receive you, mm -hmm. and that's yourself, mm -hmm. move on to the next one. Which mm -hmm. means your accommodation again mm -hmm. is there in your assignment. That's correct. Oh, that is deep. That's correct. Wow. The assignment round up the package of uh, of everything you need in life is inside your assignment. Everything. Whatever we are praying God to give us, whatever we are praying mm -hmm. to have in life. In your assignment. Your happiness is in your assignment. Your joy is in your assignment. Everything you are looking is in your assignment. There is power in the assignment. 
There is a power that govern that to work with your son. So, viewers, whatever you're watching me, I believe this message bless you, whatever it is that you are watching. We are coming next time as the Lord leads, talking to you about any other topic. But still, we believe God that you can send us your comments, you can send us your question uh, on, on this topic today. Uh, but I want you to know you have an assignment from God. And that assignment, whether therefore likes it or not, shall come to pass. Wherever you are, you are blessed. My name is Bishop C.D. Moton, God Prophet. I'm so excited that you are watching us and connected in this program. I'm here with my sons, uh, uh, above ministers of God, powerfully loaded by the grace and revelation of God. As you can see, is they were asking questions because they are not just empty, but they are filled by the power of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. Stay tuned. Keep watching this broadcast and also uh, this platform. Why not? Subscribe so that you get notification next time when I come live. You should be able also to hear and understand the mind of God. See you soon and um, we love you. Bye-bye.